people come together, there's an exponential factor that happens. And it's even more, so remember, if you're listening to this, it's even more when you do it together in the same room. And you know, this is one of the things we're really excited about when we put the community of LightNet together is how do we combine our consciousnesses to raise our vibration so that we're creating in grace and ease the things that are new that need to be um, that need to be born in the world to make the world a more loving, more peaceful, um, better place, right? And in this show, we interview people creating extraordinary things for our future. We love watching their joy and creativity bring new passion into this world. Just watch. There's nothing more beautiful than an act of creation. Hi, my name is Senka Caro. Welcome to this episode of The Creation Space, where we interview creators who are changing the world. Today, I'm joined by Sky Arlay, who teaches Atma Kriya Yoga, which is a very special form of high vibration um, practices um, using chanting and other methods. And he's going to talk about this today. But this is really where we, we manage the ancient practices with the cutting edge of the cutting edge. Welcome, Sky. It's so great to have you here today. Thank you so much. I'm so glad to be here and uh, so wonderful to share this blessing that is Atma Kriya Yoga. Um, given by Mavatar Babaji. I am Om Chanting uh, organizer. Thank you so much. Glad to be here. Yes. Yeah, you know, you you believe that this practice can change the world and it's changed your life. Why are you so passionate about this? Well, you know, when I was in Maui, I was introduced to Atma Kriya Yoga and it has transformed my life on so many levels. Um, it is an absorption into a higher state of consciousness. It uh, it burns karma, quite literally. It burns karma, uh, lifetimes of karma, and as well as the karma you're creating in this lifetime. And it entunes you. It strengthens this love relationship that we. And this is it is such a rare thing to find such a grace filled and. Uh, sanctified yoga practice such as Atma Kriya Yoga um, and it has been practiced for thousands of years but also lost for a long time and it's just now coming back into the public into the world and for me it's just been extremely transformative I practice it daily um, and I've seen how it just takes you from lower frequency to higher frequency uh, in the most uh, lovely and blissful way you know, guided by the master so it is and it's without doubt the most powerful, I believe, the most powerful yoga in the world um, due to this. It's very simple practices, but due to the grace of the masters of Mahavatar Babaji and Siddhi Swami Vishwananda, it becomes so powerful and it becomes very effective and uh, at removing all the blocks from who we are and so we can shine through in our true aspect. Yeah, you know, there's so much science behind this, um, the Maharishi effect, and we know that that everything's mathematical. So by saying a word like love or like God or like something like that, um, those words have over time created a powerful meaning. And we also know that attaching ourselves to that raises the vibration. You almost like you attach to the other people who've used that word and that vibration um, before. Very good. This is yeah. very good. Yes. And so and this is gonna... very good because this is like the teaching. Exactly. This is like what we're, what we're talking about is like, you know, you're attaching to the divine. So like, you know, what we're going to be teaching is like, you're attaching to these divine names. We're, we're attaching to the, our personal aspect of the Lord. And when we engage with attaching ourselves to Om and to the sacred mantras we'll be chanting together, that creates a, we imbue ourselves with that divine energy that is God himself, that is, you know, the Lord. And, and so when we're doing this, we're becoming divine when we, when we choose to focus on that. 
So exactly like what you're saying, yeah, like it, all the people that before have had that this, in this language, this web of understanding. And when we do the uh, Kriya Yoga, when we do the chanting and these practices, it, it purifies us, purifies the mind so that we can um, have that true knowledge be revealed to us. We can have this true knowledge. Like you see many of the books behind me, you know, life, life is like a library. It's like, you know, all these different books and all this, like you're saying, these mathematical equations, you know, and everything is connected in the sacred geometry. And there's also a sacred um, geometry as far as like how life operates with, with uh, what you're putting your mind on, what your, your, your mind is absorbed into, that's going to be your reality. And so if we choose to put our mind on something that is highest, we put our mind on God and, and we, we chant his name, then, then you can become your true highest potential, your true self. And this is the aim is to simply reach that by, by following in your own unique way, your heart, these practices. And if it resonates with you, you have that true knowledge revealed to you about who you are, why you're here. And things become very clear and, and the outside just becomes secondary and internally in your heart is the primary thing. So, yes. So cool. Yeah, you know, someone to... was showing me how to do this chanting and it was like helping me because I was like, my, my mind is usually very distracted, but when you put it on a, is this just like driving from point A to point B? You don't remember how you got there. It's like you're in theta at that point. So it's like, it's like, there's, it's, it's a way to get yourself into that receptive antenna. Why don't you tell people, you know, you're going to be coming on, you know, and, and Light Network is really all about hands-on approach. And on the, when we do a workshop once a month and you're going to be our host for the workshop this month on the 26th of January um, and the archives will be available, but you're going to basically teach us how to do this. Talk to, talk to us a little bit about how it's going to work for us on the 26th. Well, on the 26th, uh, as far as um, with the practice, um, we're going to be doing a, a group practice of Japam. Is that correct? That's right. That's what we were. Yes. And so um, what was going to happen is at first, it's very similar to Om chanting. I'm going to give the salutations to the masters. Um, and in so doing that, before we even start, before I actually even say anything uh, to you or to the audience, this basically lays the groundwork with, with the grace of the masters. It's acknowledging that I wouldn't be here giving these practices that is from them if it wasn't for them uh, and their grace and blessings. Um, and then that sanctifies the whole practice. This aligns us with our true aspect of humbleness. The soul itself is, is humble. It doesn't have the ego. The ego is with the mind. And so, uh, you know, we give an importance first to the heart and they have, you know, especially if you're, we are devoted to them, we are devoted to God, our heart is with him. So we acknowledge that. And then we're going to start doing the practice and we're going to be chanting a sacred mantra, uh, which will be given at the practice. Uh, and this is one I've given to, to you already. Um, and uh, I think it, we're all going to chant this together for about 15 minutes. And uh, we're going to start and everyone can go together uh, in, in a beautiful, uh, rhythmic way. And this, this is the greatest gem, the greatest gift of life, this mantra. Uh, it has the power to, to give you an, a liberation, actually, a full enlightenment, um, because it is the Lord himself. This mantra is, is literally when it's spoken, the Lord is there. He's next to you. The supreme, the absolute divine is with you. And we're awakening that. So when we're chanting this mantra that will be given, it is like we're calling to God and you're realizing how close God is. He's right in our heart and we're, and we're, experiencing that and and naturally all the things in our life that we would do before to feel good is gonna is is gonna not shine as much compared to this gem of this mantra this practice known as chapam where you're chanting the divine name 
and you're remembering him and you're you're giving yourself to him and it's it's going to be very special and then we can also have continuous classes in the future of this um and uh i will be talking about a method where you could personally do it every day you can buy a mala if you wish and learn the proper technique of chanting with the mala uh which is included in Kriya yoga and and uh then you can do that for 15 minutes and then adding on about five to ten minutes every day depending on your schedule and work your way up to an hour after 40 days so this is project mantra which has to do with the organization of bhakti marga which i'm speaking on behalf of which is my guru and spiritual teachers spiritual movement um and so it's very beautiful and then uh, me and me and you will have our own personal own chanting um and uh that's a little bit less casual and has a little bit more fine tuning that needs to be there for you to receive the full transformation of karma and full benefits um it's much more effective to be in person so yeah, you know, um, in our interview tonight, he was talking about when people come together, there's an exponential factor that happens. And it's even more. So remember, if you're listening to this, it's even more when you do it together in the same room. And, you know, this is one of the things we're really excited about when we put the community of Lightnet together is how do we combine our consciousnesses to raise our vibration so that we're creating in grace and ease the things that are new that need to be um that need to be born in the world to make the world a more loving more peaceful um better place right and so so this is why it's so important for us to experience these types of practices um you know i was reminded i was doing the this video for for the spoon bending and we were looking at the fact that we didn't even know gamma brain waves existed or lambda or um, epsilon brain waves until we brought monks from the Himalayas to the United States, put them in these brain machines. So this is knowledge that, you know, all the stuff that Sky is talking about is from the Himalayan mountains. This is from passed down, thank goodness, <laughs> passed down for so many generations because this is sacred information. Um, and it's it's just now being reborn, like you said, into the world where normal people like you and I, who don't get to go travel to those places are getting to learn about it. So before we close, I wanted to ask you, Sky, um, what is your hope for the world? And what what if you want to tell us a little bit about more about the history or, or anything else that you want to share about yourself, about what you feel is possible with this? Wonderful, yes. Um, for me, I've always had a, a deep connection with nature. Uh, I grew up here in, in California, where I'm currently residing uh, in the mountains, and I stayed there from age one until, you know, nine, ten years old, and moved out of uh, the property. And, and it was such a blessing to be raised in amidst, you know, a 10 acre piece of property in nature. Um, and it was a gift from God is just saying, you know, to remember uh, the importance of connecting with nature and with, uh, with the divine mother. Uh, and uh, so I've always had a deep connection with nature and with God. Uh, and I've never really been afraid of, of death or anything. I remember one time my mother asked me, are you afraid to die randomly? And I'm like, no. Not really. And then I'm thinking in my mind, like, for the first time, like, am I supposed to be? Like, you know, whatever, you know, it's like, it, you know, never really questioned it, you know, and like, no, I feel like I'm, you know, beyond that. And, you know, it's, it's, uh, what I can see this going towards is a network, especially now that we have the blessing to lead the Om chanting over Zoom. Yeah. And uh, with two parties only, at three, at least three people, I can lead an om chanting with people in Egypt in the Great Pyramids. Uh, I could lead om chanting in people in Greece, you know, people in the bottom of the ocean in a submarine vessel, yeah. And this is such an immense potential because the masters who are beyond space and time have given the blessing for this to be led anywhere in the world over Zoom. So this has widened the potential for this practice practice of own chanting, which again, you don't need to be initiated into uh, Atma Kriya Yoga to practice. 
tenfold its really wideness, its potential. And I can see this uh, being practiced in the Amazon. I can see it being practiced in, in different places in the world uh, for people that want to travel and do it in person and give it to people who who can't be there on over Zoom on the computer and experience it that way more more um, effortlessly, easily. Um, uh, we should say efficiently of you know being able to just turn on your computer and schedule a home chanting. Not, not everyone can do that. There's people in third world countries there just can't, you know, can't afford a computer, can't. So I can see this going towards a, a revolution in consciousness, a revolution from the limited I and my and the mind and to a unity consciousness and to a, a connected web between everyone, which already exists. The collective consciousness is like, you know, if you look in the water, uh, with the sun shining through the shallow bit of sand, and you see there's a light net, you know? <laughs> it's a net of light there, and that's the collective, like how the collective consciousness is, is this net of light that connects everyone, all things, the whole universe. So when we are chanting the cosmic ohm, that primordial sound, we are in tuning beyond space and time. We are bringing in this positive energy and this transformation uh, and it is taken away by all the elements it impacts the whole collective consciousness in a very beneficial and powerful way and you can think of people's situations uh that you want to send this positive energy to and they will receive it especially when it's done with love when you're sending that love and and when you're you're tuning in this way during the own chanting, it's very powerful. It's like a magnifier. It's a magnifying glass uh, for the sunlight, which is the divine energy to make a fire of positivity. And and so I can see this going towards, um, which is what I would like to do. You know, bringing this to people in third world countries, in the Amazon, in places that need, you know, in Egypt, in these energy points that need this reattuning energy, this, this divine energy, subtle yet powerful divine energy to reharmonize the energy points of the world and therefore reconnect us with a higher dimensional state of consciousness by transforming the, the atmosphere, the, the whole energy, and including nature, wherever we're doing some chanting. So, Wherever we do the own chanting, it actually goes out for a whole kilometer, not precisely just a kilometer, but a whole kilometer around the own chanting, especially if you have a lot of people, you know, is, it varies, but it goes for a whole kilometer. It transforms that energy and it, it heightens the energy. It affects that energy for a whole kilometer directly around the own chanting circle. That's so, so exciting. Yeah, yeah, very nice. So we're we're looking at this becoming, and this is what the masters talk about is the city of light uh, project, city of light, um, where we're taking this to the cities, we're taking it, you know, to the third world countries as well. For me, I would like to participate in that. Um, and this is where it's needed the most, you know, where there's density of population, and they will be affected by it just by being in the vicinity of it. So. That's amazing. You know, we always we we always talk about the city of light here in Sedona because we want to build some sort of a template example or whatever. But um, if imagine if we just create that, you know, they always talk about the grid and light workers and everything. But literally, if like what you're saying is true, you know, it's like all we have to do kilometer by kilometer, you might have a bad day once in a while. So you'll be taking light from that grid, but when you're overflowing, you're giving it to the people around you. And so the more that we can stabilize ourselves, the better um, this year. So thank you so much for joining us, Guy. We look forward to seeing you guys all to experience this for yourself. It's one thing to hear about it. It's another thing to experience it. Um, and we're so excited to have Sky part of our community and sharing his gifts and his knowledge um, and his research. Um, so we, we look forward to having you guys um, on the 26th to actually experience this, learn a little bit more about him. Um, Sky, how can people get in touch with you? 
Yes, you can go on my uh, LinkedIn account, uh, Sky R. Lay. You can look that up on LinkedIn. Right. Um, as well as uh, my, my Instagram, which I still need to uh, participate more in. So I'm more active, try to be more active on LinkedIn. Um, but it, that's the Green Phoenix of Light, all lowercase. Um, and uh, also there is a beautiful opportunity to get a little more healthy with this uh, wonderful product known as Biolumina Spirulina. Uh, and that was actually introduced to me by one of the, the guy who introduced me to your Lightnet, your channel here. This is how we actually met, this through uh, my good friend Eliahu, who um, introduced me to the Spirulina um, a couple of years back. And um, so, yeah, I would love to be a connection for that as well. If people would like to purchase something that's very detoxing, makes you feel very good, high in stamina, uh, and, and really helps you strengthen your immune system and your whole system attuned to that higher state, the higher consciousness of living. So, and that's uh, through the website plantlove.newphoenixrising.com. Uh, Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Yeah. Awesome, Sky. Thank you so much for all you're doing in the world um, and uh, everything you're doing for for us and, and to carry this knowledge forward. And we look forward to enjoying this frequency and feeling it and uh, and sharing it with others. So thank you so much. We'll see you on the 26th. If you liked watching this clip, go ahead and give the creators with a like and subscribe below. And also let us know in the comments what you thought of this creation. By the way, our inbox is always waiting for you to tell us what you dream of creating at team at lightnet.org.